Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with me. I am officially 38 weeks today. My belly is huge and as you can see, I'm at my mom's house today and I'm all alone, I'm in her kitchen. So I decided to record this video because just so much has been going on honestly and I feel like things are about to change like drastically. I may be induced on Monday, meaning like in the next two days. So I decided to just make this quick video or kind of like a vlog just of how I've prepared and I've been nesting. It has been crazy and it has been busy throughout my entire pregnancy. Plus, you know, when you're pregnant, you already have so much going on with like the physical changes, with, you know, the planning, with your baby shower, like how's everything gonna be? Preparing for that, you know, it's just like the last couple of months it gets busier and busier and busier. I have a very busy life either way, like, and now pregnancy is just like, wow, there's just like so much going on. But whew, let me catch my breath. When I give birth, I will be at my mom's. I will, I will be recovering here. She'll be taking care of me. I mean, as well as my husband, but I don't know if it's just a cultural thing, but I really need or I want my mom's support. So I'll be here and I'll be showing you guys the room that I have. But I wanted to show you guys my hospital bag just to show you guys what I prepared in case you know baby decides to come even earlier which i honestly don't think so she seems very comfy in there we could just grab that and go to the hospital but yesterday my husband and i were literally so busy just preparing the room where well i used to live here so that used to be my room but they changed it so now i had to pretty much like put it back into that like room setting putting a new bedroom putting in her new crib and all of the new stuff that i got from like the baby shower you know it's been hectic and i was so tired like this morning i slept in because after a full day of organizing moving and sweeping and cleaning and practically you're not supposed to be sweeping and mopping but i don't know i'm very active even at 38 weeks i still keep myself pretty active although i do get very bad back pain after like a very busy day but it's okay i feel a lot better i slept in i'm just waiting for my husband and my mom to get here they're both at different places my mom went out somewhere and he's busy so when they come back we're gonna go to costco but anyways, let me show you guys my diaper bag so I could, not my diaper bag, my hospital bag. And I can show you guys the diaper bag, it doesn't matter. Um, I will be right back. All right guys, so here's my hospital bag. So this is kind of how big it is. It, it looks pretty big. I got it off Amazon. It is in the brand of Love Vuk. There's a lot of different colors. I really like the cheetah one. It's honestly like my favorite. So yeah. First off, let's start with the things that I have for myself and then I'll show you guys what I have for the baby. I have this. It's a waist belt anyways. It's for postpartum. I know that they're gonna aim for a natural birth and that's what I want, um, but if in case if it's a C-section either way, I know this is gonna be really helpful since my tummy is going to be pretty bloated. So it has that part and then it has another piece to it. I think this like this is the other part that you wrap up. Oh, it comes with this little baggie, which I think is so cute. So this is where I have like my hygiene stuff. I have um, like my toothpaste, um, I have my toothbrush, and I also have the Dermoplast Pain Burn and Itch just in case, medicated cooling pads. I also bought oh my gosh i literally forgot what these are called but anyways they're, i'm pretty sure you're gonna recognize it once you see it but it's like to wash and clean um and just like keep good hygiene i am learning this is my first child my first time ever going into like birth and probably an induced birth so i'm just i've been honestly a lot of the my my girls on tiktok have been like what's been preparing me the most i also have these disposable underwear these are freedom mom brand so they're like boy short briefs and i heard these are really Good. so i think there's about 10 pairs in this bag so i have my soap which didn't fit in that little baggie i have makeup wipes i don't know why i i just thought i'm gonna want to do my makeup and then i have these pads just preparing for whatever happens i have these cozy socks so i got these i think i got these at Ross. honestly um there's three pairs of cozy socks but i just want to be comfortable i have these little breastfeeding bras where that kind of unclip and they're super comfortable honestly i already wear these i also got this baby night light oh my gosh it's a little lamp that you tap and then it turns on so like at night so when you breastfeed or you want to change the baby's diaper and like everything's super dark i'm pretty sure you don't want to like light up a very bright lamp so i bought this one just like so i could keep it a little bit of that sleepy mood if possible so anyway so now i'm gonna open the little bottom one which is why i actually love this bag because it has like a whole part to the bottom of it where you could put your shoes like i was like wow that's amazing 
and everything in here is like brand new so i'm taking like three outfits this is like a warm and cozy one i got this brown one off shein um and it, they're just like literally like comfy pants um this may be my come home uh, outfit i have another like little nightgown um it's like pink nightgown and it's just pretty much like to my knees. I just bought very like loose clothing because I did not want to be like, um, you know, having tight clothing on me when I'm like healing and in pain. Um, and I also have these little pajamas. So I'm thinking I won't need more than three outfits. And if I do, then my husband will gladly go get me more. And then I have, I bought these at Costco. So all these are from Shein. These are from Costco. These are just like my little slippers. These are my shower shoes. They were like four bucks on Shein. So I got these off Shein too. So that's what I have so far for me in my um, hospital bag. Let me show you guys what I have for the baby. All right, guys, so I got super hot, so I took off my flannel because the body temperature, like when you're pregnant, it just like it's super crazy. So this is the diaper bag. This is one of them I got, um, someone bought off my registry. Um, I have stocked up a bunch of things for her, honestly. I don't even remember what I packed. So obviously I have wipies. And you know what, I love this bag because it like has a bunch of like little places to like put things. Um, I have all of her little outfits. I, I just have a bunch of comfy outfits, honestly. These are so cute. <laughs> I have maybe like six of these newborn diapers. Um, I have way more here at home. So I know that the hospital also provides diapers. So I'm not really worried if she needs more. I have like maybe like six pairs of these little tiny socks. And then I have like six burp cloths. Oh, I have her little thing where I'm gonna wrap her in and I'm gonna take some pictures of her. I have like a couple of the swaddle blankets. Um, I still need to wash her and um, sterilize. I think that's how you say it her baby bottles um so i still need to clean that there probably is there are other things in there it's just like i'm like super hot right now so let me just show you guys the room and yeah i'm learning here girl but anyways i feel like i'm pretty prepared but let me show you guys all right y'all so i have this little mom cozy thing on because i literally love it it has so many settings on what i want to play it has some rain sounds i know you can adjust the um the volume there so this is kind of my lab you can charge your phone there i'm using a desk because like i said i used to live here i have a changing table for her and all but i'm not moving that in here like i said i'm only gonna be here like a week or two while i recover so this is just like a temporary setting however it's still really cute um i have everything i need so i have this i have um her bottle warmer for the middle of the night i bought this off amazon and I think it's so cute. You can take it like to your living room um, or if you have like a two-story house, you can have one of them downstairs. And just like with any essentials, I mean, obviously I'm going to add other stuff like the baby bottle and stuff. But this is just kind of like her diaper changing station. So I have healing cream that prevents foods and treats. And then this one's just for like a healing ointment in case she gets diaper rashes. Um, I have her little shampoo and this is her shampoo actually this is moisturizing cream and i have other brands um hopefully she doesn't have very sensitive skin like mine but if she does it's okay um we will work around it these are just water wipes a baby comb and brush set and this little nail trimmer which i i've heard that it's really helpful um and it's like painless for them so i have this i have an, a, a little emergency thing in case you know she has little buggies or you know someone gave me that from my baby shower which i'm just keeping everything in stock this is full of her this is her swaddles swaddle blankets and then this is her towel when i bathe her you know not as soon as she's born but when i do bathe her we have towels this is for me this is a little wrap thing so i'll wrap her on me <laughs> i don't know if you know what i'm talking about but that's what it is these are just some blankets so i didn't bring everything i have a lot of other things but it's in her changing diaper table which has like all the drawers with everything this is where i'll be changing her diaper or also putting her on the bed and this cover is so cute i got this off amazon i really love this thing right now like boho rainbow she also got a blanket with that theme um these are just all purpose wipes these are fragrance free i believe no harsh chemicals are for babies or to wipe down the, the table i have these newborn diapers and then i have a 
might be warmer and those bottle waters are for me and these are just some small drawers where i'm keeping again more of her things like little hats little headbands like with the bow burp cloths and all of these are already washed i wash these with like baby laundry soap um i have all of her cute like little newborn outfits obviously very comfy since she's just gonna be home for um the next couple of weeks i have these mom cozy um storage bags and i still need to get my mom cozy um breast pumps um so yeah those wipes and then i have her little bassinet and this thing is great it's actually electric um so you can also put music and it rocks her it can soothe her i love this thing honestly and this thing even opens for her to be like right by you we tied it to the bed but you know it's not i, I haven't locked the wheels or anything because she's not born yet but as soon as she's born we're gonna lock those wheels so she does not go anywhere <laughs> lastly i have this um breastfeeding pillow i got this one at target and that's the brand that is pretty much all we have hopefully be vlogging more once my baby is born but right now i am just so happy patiently waiting for my baby girl and honestly like words can express how i feel i feel so many emotions like i can't even express like what i feel i feel so much joy so much excitement but so much like emotions like, i'm just so sad of her leaving my tummy like it's just been me and her these nine months you know now i have to share her with the world i have to see her grow up and i don't know motherhood has definitely given me emotions i've never felt before so i am just so excited for my baby i'll, I'll keep you guys posted hopefully i could vlog at the hospital and kind of take you guys on this journey with me so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time